Hello and welcome to this session, Making Sense of Your Knowledge Graph with Google Data Studio. I'm very happy to share with you this presentation at the DBP Idea Day at Semantics 2022. And I hope I will be present in the physical form next year. My name is David and I'm co-founder of WordLift. So what is WordLift? WordLift is an AI that brings more clicks to web pages and we achieve this goal by creating a knowledge graph for each website. In fact, we, we think that every website deserves a knowledge graph. And then we enhance and connect web pages, web pages through uh, machine learning to link data. And finally, we publish SEO optimized structured data. And by doing so, we see a two digits traffic growth starting already from the second week of the implementation. So let's see an example of this structured data. This is, for example, the New York entity on a customer's website. This is just an extract, and usually entities are connected together in the form of the knowledge graph. And you can see, most importantly, that uh, every entity has got a permanent ID. So this is five stars linked data with a permanent URI that can be referenced, referenced using different protocols. And, and, uh, and vocabularies. And, um, and this knowledge graph is connected to other uh, KGs in the Linked Open Data Cloud, for example, DBpedia, um, GeoNames, Google, KG, and so on. But today is about our new Data Studio connector that is uh, solving the problem of analyzing KPIs from the publisher point of view, which is how do I assess and monitor the traffic KPIs in relation to the knowledge graph? There are some common data sources that SEO managers use to analyze the KPIs, like for example, uh, the Google Search Console, which provides KPIs like the uh, total clicks, impressions, CTR, and position for a time frame in connection with data coming from other data sources like Google Analytics, Google Ads, Adobe Analytics, or others. So the solution is to use the Data Studio Connector. The Data Studio Connector by WordLift allows clients to use the knowledge graph inside their own reports. So uh, clients can actually query the knowledge graph and push the data inside uh, of Data Studio and then blend this data with other data sources. Let me give you a demo. This is a semantic SEO report. Okay, so this was built by using the, uh, uh, the WordLift platform, the KG of a website, and uh, the Data Studio connector, uh, pulling data from uh, the KG and pushing it into uh, Data Studio. This report is blended with um, the, um, the, the data coming from the Google Search Console. Um, so the, the, the report is, is uh, split in, in several pages. The first page is the knowledge graph. And um, in, in the first page, we can see general information about the knowledge graph. That is the list of entities that have been published into the knowledge graph, the total number of entities, the total number of pages of the website, and the entities that have been linked from these pages. So this is quite a good um, configuration here where more than two thirds of, uh, of the entities have been linked from, from the website. And here we can also see a nice breakdown by type of the entities uh, populating the, the knowledge graph. So here we got like that more than half of the entities are things, about one fourth are person, then we've got creative work, organization, place, event, and local business. Now we want to see how this entity relate to traffic. So this is the, uh, the, the third page of the report. So this report is actually showing the data in connection with the KPIs com coming from the Google Search Console. So here, for example, I can see that entities like uh, Thing receive uh, the um, highest number of impressions, then we've got persons, then creative work, and so forth. We can see that a similar report about clicks 
but for example something quite interesting if we go and see the CTR we can see that one of the entity types that receiving the most CTRs is the place at time or the creative work and usually in other websites I've seen event performing very well and here we can see the average position so we can see that entities belonging to uh, the uh, the type uh, event in this case have the uh, uh, lowest position that is they are deep uh, down in in the SERP whereas entities of type creative work organization person and thing they are in the uh, in the top positions this is another uh, page where we show uh, the traffic by entity type let me see if I can get also the uh, this widget to show yes so here you got the traffic by entity so here I can see how, how each entity is performing so this is like the main entity for this website what is the Espiritismo and I can see that it receives the most impressions and the most URL, URL clicks I can further change these reports and order for example by URL clicks and here I see the other uh, entities that receive the most clicks and here I can see the split by entity type and here I got the information about how many pages uh, how, how the pages are performing uh, between uh, the uh, lifted pages and the non-lifted pages at the end I have this information about the queries where I can see the list of uh, uh, queries in, uh, in, the, uh, in, in Google and how they connect to the uh, data in my knowledge graph let's give it a couple of seconds to load the data then the data is cached and access to this data will be much faster there we go so we can see here for example the, the top query Espiritismo is connected straight with the uh, uh, entity Espiritismo and we got like the person Andre Luis and the other uh, queries so this is a, a very uh, a, a, this is a simple report uh, we can take a look here how this works behind uh, the scenes so we have uh, two data sources in this case but I could add more like Google Analytics for example in this case I only have uh, the WordLeaf data source and the search console so the the WordLeaf data source uh, is configured in a way that we provide um, a key uh, matching the uh, uh, the knowledge graph and a, a GraphQL query so by default we provide a GraphQL query that allows to uh, extract most of the important uh, uh, properties for a generic website but the client can eventually uh, fully customize this query to um, its own needs so for example for an e-commerce we could export also pricing information material information color information and so forth or for recipes we can extract other information like uh, calories preparation time and so forth so this the, the query is completely customizable and you can see that it uses information like the uh, property names to uh, extract the data then the query is parsed by uh, the data studio connector and which creates then the dimensions that can be used inside the report this is the uh, search console report which is uh, uh, provided by by Google and then what we do we create uh, a blend and the blend uses the um, landing page and uh, entity URL to connect the data and we do a full outer connection so that we know which entities um, have traffic if there is data from the KG and from the search console and we know which pages have traffic but do not expose st uh, structured data or, or, or data coming from the KG because the when the when the entity data is not available for a landing page and these are the uh, properties the, the fields that we export uh, from the blend 
Then we use these fields to create our reports. So we can see, for example, here that uh, what we're doing is to uh, just extract the list of entities uh, with the name and type. And what we do here, for example, is actually to aggregate the type information and to count it so that we can provide a break uh, down view uh, of the entity uh, by type. And so we do we do these similar calculations uh, on, on this uh, knowledge graph page. And here instead we connect the data uh, by using um, uh, the, the blend so that we have uh, the impression data bound uh, by the landing page and the entity URL and we are able to assign the uh, traffic KPIs to the single entities. Um, so this is pretty much how we, we configure this, uh, uh, this information. And we also provide some filters here, of course, to um, change the time frame that we want to uh, assess. And uh, if we want to uh, visualize some specific types, we can do it here. So let's go back to our presentation now. So how does this work? So this is a, a very streamlined view of, uh, of the infrastructure. So here we have your website and your website can communicate with the WordLeaf platform by using the APIs that is, that is pushing data uh, by using the, uh, an RDF format like RDF XML, JSON LD, Turtle and so forth. We provide for WordPress, uh, uh, our own uh, WordPress uh, plugin to automatically do this and allow uh, publishers to manage their knowledge graph straight within WordPress. And for other websites, we provide the API with a, uh, um, with a client, a JavaScript client, and we can provide our own UI to manage the knowledge graph. And so the data is pushed from the website via the API to the knowledge graph. The knowledge graph is, off, is hosted uh, on a, at, at our own uh, uh, proprietary platform. And, um, and then we have a GraphQL endpoint that can be used to uh, query the data from the, uh, the knowledge graph. So that we created a data studio connector that is actually uh, taking advantage of this GraphQL endpoint and is pulling the data from the knowledge graph straight into data studio where it can be combined with other data to create the graphs that we saw before. This is an example of the data in the KG. Um, the data is RDF. Um, because we work with SEO, the uh, vocabulary that we use is, is basically schema.org, but it can be used virtually with any uh, vocabulary. And this is an example of GraphQL query. So this is the query that we saw before. It can be further customized to extract the data that we want. And this is an example of the uh, output from the GraphQL query. I think that's all. I will leave some follow-up links. Uh, for example, uh, create a semantic SEO reports in three steps is a very uh, short video, about four minutes, that will guide you through creating your first SEO, SEO report by using the, uh, the Google, Data State, Google Data Studio Connector by WordLift. Here is the link to uh, actually start hands-on creating the Data Studio report. And here is the link to the simple report that we show in our demo. That's it for me, and I'm available now for questions. Thank you.